Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we are returning to Panzer Corps 2, the Frontlines Bulge DLC, so it's a new type of DLC which is called Frontlines, which kind of looks at battles in a more focused point of view than some of the normal Panzer Corps sort of grand sweeping DLCs of the past, at least that's my understanding of it anyway. And this particular DLC focuses on the Battle of the Bulge. In our first episode, which was posted yesterday, uh, we took a look at the first scenario and the start of the second scenario in this Battle of the Bulge uh, campaign. And we won the first battle. In the second battle, we are sort of underway, just getting started. We are tasked with holding at least three of four objectives plus two sort of you can't lose them objectives. Those are our primaries. So there's four cities we have to hold, uh, three of them. And then there's two sort of obligatory you have to hold cities. And then there's two optional sort of cities you have to hold, which if you do, you get bonus uh, hero units, which give your units some major perks. That being said, that uh, is where we find ourselves, kind of in the early phases of this battle as we deploy our troops forward to defend these secondary objectives and await the bulk of the German onslaught, which seems to have so far not manifested itself, but we will see how things play out in this episode. This was taken from a live stream on my Twitch channel from a couple of days ago, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you are interested in following those streams, there's a link in the description where you can follow me over there. Uh, but without further ado, let's jump back into the stream. Which everybody who I at least am willing to move. Gera and Cherish, thank you for the follows. Beef also. Sliff, thank you for the resub 47 minutes ago. Alright, what's all going on in the south? We got the one panther. Can we see anything else? Nothing out this way. There's got to be a lot more to the north and maybe some to the east here. But we'll find that out next turn. They'll probably finish off that uh, M10 or whatever it is in there. Stupid rocket artillery and its suppression. The Germans moved into a position in which they were encircled, although they did shoot that tank to pretty good shreds. Ugh, my anti-tank tanks. <laughs> my anti-tank tanks! Not doing very well. Panther's gonna finish off. There's our first casualty of the of the battle here on turn four. Granted, it wasn't one of my core units. I don't even know if there's any that like we've got core units, but it's kind of like, what's the point when you consider the fact that we have we we can't effectively reinforce because of the the negative trait that we took. Artillery is going to be a little bit dispersed. One shot per bad guy. Oh, shoot. Don't do that. Let's destroy that recon car. Oh, we didn't. We didn't destroy it. Bastards. We got close. We got that enemy infantry unit there. Recon car is going to reinforce here. Into tank gun also will reinforce. I'm having trouble keeping track of what is core at this point and what is not. Oh, 
It would have been nice to inflict some losses on those bad guys there, but... I'm waiting for the waves and waves of enemy infantry, but maybe I'm just bad at reconning. <laughs> I'm not finding them yet. I'm sure they're around. Alright, here's the looks and the recon car. Move the Sherman with 105 in behind the enemy looks. They're both encircled now. So we destroyed the looks. over this way, so let's move our boys over here. I don't think these sections are objectives, right? So we've got to hold Elsborn and Munchau. Munchau's up, Elsborn's here, Munchau's up here. So the rest of the stuff doesn't matter, although I guess we do have to hold three victory hexes in total. So we can afford to lose one of them. Seven. All right, let's do two seven. Maybe we'll force him to surrender. We do not. Not yet, anyway. We'll finish him off here, though. Okay, so we destroyed that German infantry. Germans really don't want to surrender, huh? I'm sure those panzers are coming up. What does PvE mean in this game? I'm playing against the AI, so environment or AI or whatever you want to call it. Alright, so... I think that about does it for this turn. Destroyed a couple German units. I'm surprised my 155s have such short range. Turn 5 coming up. Shed is uh, hit by artillery again. Infantry moving down this main road against our anti tank tanks. They are they have really bad soft defenses. Which I guess makes sense with an open top turret, but still. Here comes the Panther. Hey, there's our anti tank gun. Did a little bit of damage to it. And we're back to the snow, so no more airborne operations today. Panther down here, we don't know what else might be coming. Zero to one. Okay. So I'm going to need some artillery to help against these guys. Right, Anti-tank gun goes against the recon vehicle first. Uh, 
infantry finished off the enemy vehicle. Move our heavy infantry back into the town. Do a little bit of damage against the panther down here. Then move my Sherman here against enemy infantry in a 1 to 7 fight. I will take that every day of the week. It ended up 1 to 9. Hell yeah, brothers. Move our heavy infantry forward. Drive that enemy infantry back. So we didn't destroy the enemy there, but we did give him a pretty bloody nose. Undo that. I'm gonna give my anti-tank gun some infantry support. So I don't want the infantry engineers going against, or heavy infantry going against the Panthers themselves, but I'm guessing they may spend a turn reinforcing since they're down to 60% strength. I've certainly been wrong before. We'll see. Most of our artillery is up north. Very long times. Do your thing. We'll drive that armored car back. We won't destroy it. to that neighbor verfer but it seems ill advised these bad guys are in trenches but we drove them back without loss nice still got plenty of prestige because I can't spend any damn money on crack reinforcements I wonder if we should just try and get rid of this minefield here. It would give me more freedom of movement. I think the main concern is it would also give the enemy more freedom of movement. Like, to an extent, the minefield sort of serves our interest. Although they can move through these trenches, so maybe it doesn't really benefit us that much. Clear that minefield, boys. Alright, up north, I think that's about it. Not gonna attack in the south. So that'll do it for turn five. Let's move forward to turn six. Neighbor verfers, neighbor verfering the shit out of my jeeps. Continues to attack the secondary objective, Valderscheid, which we took in the previous battle, although the enemy just took it from us. So they're kind of getting bunched up a bit around Valderscheid. It's a secondary objective. We don't need it to hold to win the battle. In fact, we don't need any of those the two secondaries to win the battle.
don't know that I... Does that count as one of the four, though? No, it doesn't even count as one of the victory objectives. Just the secondary. Okay, that works. That suits me just fine. Finish that German unit off. We'll move these guys forward here, hopefully, to finish this German unit off. And that's... Two more German infantry units destroyed here in the south. There's a panther out here somewhere, but we have only seen the one. And in the north, it, it doesn't really feel like they've come close at all. The Volks Grenadiers are not my concern, really. It's like we've broken through in the, in the north. Or, yeah. We're not really destroying any of these guys, we're just giving them bloody noses and forcing them to push back temporarily. But, oh, no, we didn't even destroy that one. of us being in these trenches here, I'm, I'm moving forward because I'm wondering if being in these trenches actually helps us. Like, do, do we get a defensive bonus by being there? Are these... They're folks grenadiers. They must be heavily dug in there. This is the reverse battle of the bulge. The Americans are breaking through. All right, so they're gonna reinforce, but they... All right, so there's a lot of enemy artillery behind the front line, so that's a problem in terms of... Oh, I forgot about my anti-tank gun there. Well, got them destroyed. Aldershot actually might be sort of a key stumbling block in the enemy being able to break through. They're, they seem to be clumping up around there. Panzer IV! So more enemy armor just the second I get cocky. Oh god, a lot of enemy armor just the second I get cocky. Uh Okay. We're a little bit we're a little bit ahead of where we want to be. Maybe we can destroy this guy with our Wolverine, though. There's a panther around here somewhere. We're pulling our armor back and switching it back into artillery mode. Oh 
Okay. Alright, so we attacked this Folks Grenadier unit down here. Did quite a bit of damage. Probably some enemy infantry there in striking distance. Got him! Enemy armored car destroyed. Yeah, I do think we get a bonus for being in trenches. It would seem. Anyway. At least for the infantry. Nice, got that neighbor buffer. So I think that does it for yet another turn. We're halfway through the battle. We know there's a lot of German armor showing up in the south now, which is of some concern. We've got the Panther, which we can't see anymore. We've also got two Panzer, Panther, or Panzer fours, I believe. And then a Jag Panther. We've still got a pretty decent amount of strength down here and some anti-tank tank guns to help. So a lot of German armor, three armored units. They're all a little bit beat up to varying degrees, plus another German armored unit somewhere out here to the east. I don't know what they did with their Panther, why they're not pushing forward with it. Can this artillery soften up this German bunker? Kind of. Nice. Pound that German infantry in the open and destroy him. Got him.
Can you finish off that artillery? No, but you did drive him back at least. Okay, the enemy uh, minefield's almost gone in the north. Alright, so these guys are fully suppressed. They shouldn't attack next turn. Still got a bunch of artillery around here, though. Every time I think maybe we've turned the corner. More enemy guns show up. Oh uh, boy. Those look like... Are those... Engineers? Pioneers? At least we finished off the enemy... Artillery piece up there. Wow, well, they're gonna finish off that tank. Oh, they didn't! Okay. What are these guys? Pioneers. I knew it. They're going to be like, hey, your entrenchments. Those are nice. Mind if we take a peek? So let's preempt them. We'll hit them here in a sec. Let's see if we can hit this enemy Jag Panther and destroy it. We retook the secondary objective. How did it retreat? That direction didn't seem logical, but my heavy infantry move in. Oh, that's not a Panzer IV. That's a Stug, I think. I'm dumb. Either way, we destroyed it. Alright, hit those Pioneers with Artie. Then hit him with infantry. Wreck him. Our engineers versus their, their Pios. They stood no chance. Alright. Artillery does soften these boys up. Recon car will destroy that minefield, which opens things up a little bit more in the north. All 
and it's swinging around behind him. Ha ha! They surrendered. We got them. Let's go get their artillery that's pounding us. In the north, things look grand. At least until the Germans come back with reinforcements like those pioneers which just showed up in the south. Alright, so can't do anything else in the south. The north is all set. Let's see what happens. Pioneers. A lot of German infantry showing up here. That armor of ours is nearly destroyed. Looks like they're trying to almost to bypass us. Oh, there go the Jeeps. Destroyed. Right, that's a Panzer IV. That one we got pretty good. But what are these guys? Volksgrenadier? Yeah, it looked like they were trying to go around us. So move our 105mm Shermans in. Those are great infantry support weapons, and they wipe out those German troops that tried to flank us. The 32nd Hetzer. I guess I was wrong. They're not Jag Panthers. Got them. Another German unit destroyed. Is that a flak piece? Keep pushing the pioneer unit in the south back. Give him a bloody nose. They came they turned around to come back toward Volterscheid, so we'll go ahead and reinforce there. That's mainly a delaying post. Alright, now that these Volksgrenadier came out of their heavily dug in position maybe we can hurt him One to five, yes, please. One to four, yes, please. Oh, I thought this... The Ver infantry is still up here. Either way, we got a kill. It's another German unit down in the north. In the south, I think we already did all our, our worst. So six more turns to hang on, boys. We just ambushed an armored car slash artillery piece and nearly destroyed it. Self-propelled artillery is pushing forward as well. You got to think the Germans are getting desperate at this point. They're like, we got to break through. A lot of infantry coming up, though. Probably going to retake Walter Scheid there. And 
unfortunately, I am heavy on the anti-tank configuration here, so I'm not in as good a position to withstand infantry as I am at least blunting our t tanks. to tank gun down here to finish off this enemy artillery piece, so we do. And... to try and take out the Panzer IV. These bastards are tricky. I can suppress the hell out of them, but I can't fucking kill them. Encircle myself. Try and encircle the enemy. Finished him off there. Although, probably need to move one of my units forward here to get him out of their encirclement. These Wolverines might get destroyed by this Ver infantry. We'll see. Either way, we managed to destroy a German infantry unit. Retook Waldershein. They might surrender. Right. Hopefully, no large scale reinforcements arrive up in the north. Units that are with entrenchments that are. Okay. Interesting, I did not know that. We still haven't lost any of our core units? They've definitely lost a lot of their experience, I know that, because we aren't able to use elite reinforcements, which is why we've got so many frickin' prestige points. The, old, the Valer Scheid defense, though, I will say, has been worth its weight in gold. Because every time they attack us up there, every single time, we are always sort of gumming up the works. We're like, it's it's obviously not Bastogne, but it's kind of like Bastogne in the sense that it's like right in the middle of the roadways they need to support their attack in the north. Hey, look, the Panther Ray's back.
Can we just destroy that bastard? Like, it is driving me crazy that we can't destroy that guy. You're a freaking anti-tank gun. You should be able to destroy an anti-tank. Uh, we did the green thing where you can only do three elite reinforcements in a battle as a negative trait. And then we did... Oh my goodness, I don't even remember what our positive traits were. right corner no that's oh battle academy trophies of war green army perimeter control Attack of our infantry is sort of a... I'm a big fan in this game of spoiling attacks. Where you know you won't actually win the battle, but you will inflict more casualties on them and sort of create a sense of disruption in their ranks that prevents them from being able to effectively attack the following turn. So even though you lose casualties and don't necessarily overrun the enemy, you do at the end of the day achieve a meaningful result. Long Tom has gained a star. And it was a beautiful star, too. Right, advancing to encircle this dude. So we should finish the fight off in the north, hopefully. This coming turn. I don't think I can buy any more reinforcements for anybody. Nope. Alright. Four more turns. Well, we might lose our first core unit there. That infantry is very badly battered down there. Also, that enemy infantry versus my anti-tank guns. Not a great recipe for success. We're almost dead. Not quite yet. Man, this lone company of heavy infantry. Just keeping three, four enemy infantry units at all times from coming down and joining the assault in the center. They didn't quite get them yet. Oh my god, they're hanging on by the skin of their teeth. So, so far all the objectives are in our hands. We've got Moscow and Elsborn. We've also hold, we're holding four out of the three objectives we have to hold, and we're still holding one secondary objective. So so far everything is rosy. Got him! Destroyed that enemy self-propelled anti-aircraft gun, I guess.
Let's try to take out that enemy artillery. I'd move my infantry forward to... Putting, enemy, putting tanks in the forest, generally bad idea, this is true. But it was worth it, I think, to hit the enemy artillery. We'll see, though. We'll see if the enemy has anything to uh, say about that next turn. They surrender? They did! Got him! Pretty much victory in the north. We could try and push for some of these rear objectives. Raise the flag! Okay. I'm glad we chose the defense that we did rather than the uh, battle that it said would be more difficult. They do attack our tanks in the forest, but their infantry loses more than they get. Meanwhile, their infantry gets pounded by our artillery and wiped out in their assault on our heavy infantry there near that secondary objective just to the west of the bunker. Enemy armor is attacking our anti-tank guns. So actually, it looks like they've got two Panther A units now in the fight. The infantry in the north is nearly getting overrun. We're down to the final three turns. Finish off that enemy. Oh, damn it, they got away. Self-propelled artillery destroyed. So there's a battered panther A over there. The blizzard has returned. Kind of bummed you don't get prestige for taking objectives, even if they're not. Like, they might not be part of the turn or the battle's objectives. You know, it's not a secondary or a major, but we still took the city. And all the previous versions of Panzer General or whatever, that would give you credit for that.
I am not going to leave the uh, objective. We're going to just reinforce and stay hunkered down. All right, we got a new hero, William Hunt, for extraordinary heroism. Sir, due to your heroic action in this battle, Top Brass has assigned another veteran commander to your force. Goddamn right they have. No, but we those were the first times we took any of those objectives, and we still didn't get anything for them. Another Panzer IV. I think that's a Panzer IV. Well, they broke through in the south, finally. We can lose Bullingen. We can't afford to lose more than that for the objectives. They've only got two turns left. That was also our first core unit that was destroyed. I didn't look at the hero yet. Take a bit look in a minute. Yep. I'll let you be a sitting duck. We'll drive you over there. You're going to stay in your truck. The enemy can attack you freely. But I'll put a tank between them and you, so maybe they won't. back. Alright, we'll see. We got two more turns. We're in the rear of the other secondary objective. Get at it, boys. All right, so breakthrough in the north, I guess. For us, threatening of a breakthrough in the south for the Germans. Last turn coming up. Their heavy infantry versus our tanks in that first attack didn't do anything. They did better versus our anti-tank tanks. Panthers! Yeah, that was not good. Ouch. Well, they didn't get to our anti-tank guns at Bullingen, at least. Last turn. The enemy actually goes first, so that might be the end of the battle, too. Kind of thinking that is the end of the battle.
All right, let's try and retake the uh, other secondary objective here before the fight ends. Hit him with three artillery attacks before the infantry goes in. Infantry goes in, heavy infantry, high ground. Drop him back. Follow the attack up and destroy him. Okay. Good result there. I'm going to assume that's it, though, because the enemy attacks first, so it should be over. There you go. Ellsborn Ridge. Ridge. Sir, there are surely more than limited counter... These are surely more than limited counterattacks. The overall picture is still somewhat unclear, but we are getting reports about similar attacks from here down to Luxembourg. Historical note, U.S. forces near Monchon and Eisborn found themselves right on the northern edge of the German onslaught on December 16th, but they mostly kept the enemy at bay. The struggle along the Ilsborn Ridge continued for days after the initial assaults until fighting petered out without any decisive breakthrough. Early German advances had more success a few miles south, finally allowing Kampfgruppe Piper, acting as armored spearhead, to flood westwards. And that's a victory. Do I... So, can I reinforce guys on the battlefield afterwards? No? So, I definitely misread that trait. I read it as... Elite reemplacements are limited to three times per mission, but I assumed that meant in the... Sort of inter-battle period, you could... Do elite reinforcements. Apparently not. But that's neither here nor there. The next battle in this campaign is going to be the fight for St. Vith. Or St. Vith. Uh, that'll be episode number... Three, if you guys want to see it, let me know your thoughts. Uh, but until next time, this is the Historical Gamer once again saying thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I'm out.